want justice. There's an old poster out west, as I recall, that said, wanted, dead or alive. If he thinks he can hide and run from the United States and our allies, he will be sorely mistaken. There's no question in my mind we'll have the resolve. Bora Bora probably should be the font of all of these conspiracy theories. Because who would believe that both the President of the United States and his top generals would not use the military that Americans paid for to defend Americans? It's almost unbelievable, but that's what happened. A new president has now had to take up the hunt for bin Laden. The president of the United States. In the nearly eight years since 9-11, Al-Qaeda and its extremist allies have moved across the border to the remote areas of the Pakistani frontier. This almost certainly includes Al-Qaeda's leadership, Osama bin Laden. And the cold truth is that there hasn't been a single verifiable sighting of bin Laden since December 2001. President Obama's policy review of Afghanistan and Pakistan was chaired by former CIA officer Bruce Rydell, and he's seen the intelligence on bin Laden. It's not cold. It's frozen over. There is no trail anymore. We haven't had eyes on this target now in over eight years. In the absence of any clear intelligence, Osama bin Laden has become shrouded in myth and rumor. The most likely suspect would be uh, U.S. military intelligence. Historically, you need to have uh, sort of an incarnation of evil to go after. And since 9-11, that's been primarily Osama bin Laden. It helps the war on terror to have the arch villain still alive. He had a kidney problem, very serious kidney problem. The way he was, it was very difficult to survive in that area. Very difficult. I mean, not possible. He says he heard that bin Laden escaped Tora Bora, but he was barely alive. He was extremely sick. They put him on the mule. Then he was tied with the rope so that he does not fall down. And very slowly, he was taken out of that area. Thereafter, I have never heard any news about him. He has disappeared somewhere. I personally feel that he expired and buried at an unknown place. The only evidence that bin Laden is still alive are these audio tapes and videotapes, and none of them can be proven to be authentic. At least three of them can be shown to be almost certainly fake. And if somebody is faking bin Laden videos, then that leads to the suspicion all the videos and audio tapes uh, have been faked. Listen, let's, let's talk more about this. Bill O'Reilly, here's what he said. He said, uh, Muslims killed us on 9-11. Is that, is that not true? Do you find that not to be the fact? Well, first of all, I investigate 9-11, and I have a lot of questions about 9-11. And, you know, the government and what they told us about 9-11 is strictly a theory also. What have they proven? I ask you this. We're a country by the rule of law. It's been nine years now since 9-11. Why hasn't bin Laden been indicted for what he did? And you don't have to have him captured to indict him. That means the government comes forward with their evidence, presents it to a jury of citizens like us. If there's enough evidence, they do an indictment for murder. Mm. Why, have, why hasn't that been done? Tonight, we give thanks to the countless intelligence and counterterrorism professionals who've worked tirelessly to achieve this outcome. The American people do not see their work, nor know their names. But tonight, they feel the satisfaction of their work and the result of their pursuit of justice. We give thanks for the men who carried out this operation, for they exemplify the professionalism, patriotism, and unparalleled courage of those who serve our country. And they are part of a generation that has borne the heaviest share of the burden since that September day. Yet today's achievement is a testament to the greatness of our country and the determination of the American people that we do whatever it takes. The cause of securing our country is not complete, but tonight we are once again reminded that America can do whatever we set our mind to. 
That is the story of our history. Whether it's the pursuit of prosperity for our people, or the struggle for equality for all our citizens, our commitment to stand up for our values abroad, and our sacrifices to make the world a safer place. Let us remember that we can do these things not just because of wealth or power, but because of who we are. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Since we've been down here, hundreds and hundreds of people have been coming down to Ground Zero. I want to see if you can see what, what's happening here. People just sort of coming down here, they're bringing flags, they're singing, God bless America. People start singing, then all of a sudden they start breaking out, they start cheering. I want to bring in some of the people who have come down here for, for various reasons. Um, you've come down here. What, what, what made you come down? I'm sure you heard the news. Tell uh, me what you're feeling uh, at this uh, moment. Um, uh, just pri great pride in my country and... and happiness and, and sorrow and, and revisiting emotions from 9-11 generally. The atmosphere, the V sign for victory being displayed uh, in uh, East Jerusalem today among jubilant Palestinians uh, that the United States had been subject to this attack. What are we to make of that, Jennifer? Um, are we to, uh, Yasser Arafat may issue this condemnation. Look at this. We're seeing uh, people applauding, clapping, smiling, uh, happy to, to know that thousands of Americans have died in this sneak attack well, obviously you came down heard about the news tell me what you're feeling why did you decide to come down to ground zero um well it's just the most out of body experience to feel such so involved in history this is just such a historic moment for our country right now it's just i mean it's so surreal it's you know so much so much suffering so much pain took place at this very spot the united states blamed by some palestinians for its ongoing support as it is seen of israel in this uh, conflict in this middle eastern conflict however while some palestinians were taking to the streets in apparent celebration one youth was quoted as saying as he received a sweet sweets handed around in celebration this is a sweet from osama bin laden he said and you can hear some of that cheering going on right wolf right now in the background people again bringing down American flags ground zero right here happening right here the West Bank these are Palestinian celebrations in the wake of Tuesday's terror attacks in the United States how apparently Palestinians took to the street chanting God is great there are people just sort of coming down here they're bringing flags they're singing God bless America people were throwing candy distributing candy to passers-by the U.S. government obviously has become increasingly unpopular, particularly in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, because Palestinians feel that the U.S. government has sided with Israel. Anna Nawal Abdel Fattah wearing a long black dress threw sweets in the air saying, saying she was happy because, quote, America is the head of the snake. America always stands by Israel in its war against us. Live Israel, God bless America. I was at the World Trade Center on 9-11. I saw the shit that was going on. America has to wake up. It's coming to America just like it's happening in the rest of the world. The radical Muslim must be defeated unless we're going to all ruin the whole Western civilization. So how many civilian casualties would it take before you questioned the attack? There's not a number involved. Nothing good is going to come out of it unless they keep fighting all the way with it till they wipe them all out. Wipe them all out. Yeah, they got to go strong with this. There's only one way to deal with a cancer. You burn it out or you remove it. And when people don't want to talk and just want to destroy you and not allow you to live, there's only one thing you can do. They are forcing us to kill their children to defend our children. Yes. Woo! USA! Woo! USA! 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 We do whatever it takes, 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 whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes.